Today, we're diving into the important topic of preparing for shoulder surgery. Whether you're facing a rotator cuff repair, shoulder arthroscopy, bicep tendon repair, understanding how to get ready for shoulder surgery can make all the difference in the world in your surgery journey. Hi, it's Steve from My Cold Therapy, where we help people get back to living. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in the video, which you can find linked in the description box below. And also, if we miss something or something that helped you a lot in your journey, please comment down in the comment section to help other patients. Now let's jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is speak to your doctor and get a timeline for recovery. How long will you be out of work? Can I drive? How long is it before I can drive? Do I need to go to PT? How many PT appointments? Get all the pertinent questions answered before the surgery from the doctor and their staff. We actually did a video on the top 10 questions to ask your doctor. I'll drop the link down in the description box below. So we won't spend a lot of time on this topic. Just go ahead and check out that video. Prepare for surgery ahead of time both physically and mentally, and also your house. Mentally prepare yourself for what's to come in the next month. It's really helpful to be in the right state of mind. Attitude makes a big difference. Stay positive. Preparing mentally for sur shoulder surgery is just as important as the physical aspects of readiness. Facing surgery can, can invoke a range of emotions, including anxiety, fear, and uncertainty. Taking proactive steps to prepare mentally can help ease these feelings and promote a positive mindset. Begin by educating yourself about the procedure, including its purpose, potential risks, and expected outcomes. Engage in open communication with your healthcare team to address any concerns or questions you may have. Practice relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, or visualization to help manage stress, and promote a sense of calmness. Surround yourself with supportive friends and family who can offer encouragement and reassurance throughout the process. Finally, maintaining a hopeful outlook by focusing on the benefits of the surgery and visualizing a successful recovery. By adopting a proactive and optimistic mindset, you can approach shoulder surgery with confidence and resilience. There's going to be good days. There's going to be bad days. But at the end of the day, consistency is what wins out. And a positive mindset will help you be consistent every single day. Prepare yourself physically before the surgery. Do all the small things like cut your fingernails, cut your toenails. Take a shower before the surgery. It might be a few days or a week before you can get your next one. And also follow your doctor's instructions about pre-scented lotions and soaps here. Do any pre-surgery PT exercises. Some doctors are going to require that. Let's get the muscles ready around the shoulder for this surgery. Inform your friends and family, especially before the surgery, if you live alone. It's really important to have help lined up. This may include arranging transportation to and from the hospital preparing meals, assisting with chores in that first couple weeks around the house, providing emotional support during challenging moments, open communication with your and collaboration with your support network can greatly enhance your overall experience and recovery process. Prepare your house. Create a comfortable safe zone. This area should include essentials such as a comfortable chair or recliner, a table to hold all your items that you may need, and entertainment options like books, magazines, and television. Be sure to change all the batteries in your remotes and any electronics beforehand because if, it's in your do if, you're, if surgery is in your dominant arm, this is going to be tough to do, especially if you're by yourself. Prepare meals. Stock up on easy-to-prepare meals, snacks, and beverages to minimize any cooking you might need to do in that first couple of weeks. Consider preparing meals in advance, freezing them for easy reheating in the microwave. Many prepared foods like salads already come chopped up from the grocery store. You can also use services like Uber Eats, 
but be aware the first couple weeks it might be hard to do some cooking. Prepare for one-handed awareness. Following shoulder surgery, you may experience limited mobility and function in the affected arm, requiring you to adapt to performing daily tasks with one hand. It's important to practice one-handed awareness in the days leading up to the surgery to help ease the transition postoperatively. More than likely, you're going to be in a sling after the surgery for either a couple weeks, six weeks, or eight weeks. It really just depends on the procedure you're having. My biggest recommendation would be if you can get the sling ahead of time, put it on, especially if it's on your dominant arm, and identify those activities that are going to pose a challenge when only using one arm, such as dressing, grooming, cooking, even using your cell phone. Explore alternative methods and tools that can assist you in completing these tasks with greater ease and efficiency. Consider investing in some adaptive equipment such as reachers, button hooks, and dressing aids. This is going to help facilitate independence and autonomy during the recovery period. You're also going to need access to jars, pill bottles, easy to open water bottles, and there's all kinds of gadgets on Amazon. And we'll drop some links down in the description box to help you but there's many things out there. Please take the time to look around and see what's out there to help you. Now, if you're going to get a recliner, make sure if it's not an electronic rec recliner that you got the lever on your good arm side. And if it's an electronic recliner, make sure the controls are on your good arm side. Additionally, Try to modify your living environment to minimize hazards and improve accessibility to contribute to a safer, more comfortable recovery process and experience. Remove all obstacles and clutter from the walkways. If you need to install handrails, do this before the surgery in the key areas and consider rearranging commonly used things in the house before surgery. I can't stress enough that the one-handed awareness will, will be probably the most important thing you'd practice beforehand. This is going to help you relieve a lot of frustration if you practice it. Prepare your bathroom and your grooming needs for after the surgery. We will drop links down in the description box below of a lot of these products that we saw on Amazon that could help you. This is just a list of things that might make your life easier after the surgery. It's certainly not all encompassing. And if we missed anything in the comment section, please let us know if there was something we missed. These are just general ideas for you. You may want to get pump soap, pump toothpaste, easy to open mouthwash. You may want to consider getting an electric toothbrush because again, you're just going to have one hand. Get some dry shampoo, possibly even get yourself some baseball hats so you don't have to worry about it right after the surgery. Hair dryer stands make life easier getting prepared. An electric shaver. Get yourself some waterproof bandages for when you take a shower. Tegraderm makes some good ones. Make sure this covers your incision all the way around. Get yourself a shower chair. And also get yourself a shower sling, especially if that doctor wants you in that sling for the whole time. Get yourself a big easy sponge to use or a sponge with a handle. Get a scar pad for after the incision is fully healed. Make sure your toilet area is set up properly, meaning the toilet paper is on the side where you can reach it. A freestanding toilet paper holder is an option here. Install a one-handed shower head. Install a bidet in your toilet. Use lighter towels and washcloths, which might be easier to handle with what, just one arm. Get yourself some pump deodorant, flushable wipes. And again, if we missed anything, this is just a list we came up with. Please drop it in the comment section below. In closing, I can't help stress enough how important it is to prepare and practice ahead of time before your surgery. This is going to help ease some of your frustrations while you're going through the healing process. If you found this video useful, please give us a like 
or subscribe to our channel. And if we missed anything that helped you a lot, please drop it down in the comment section below. So if you're having surgery, heal up and let's get back to living.